What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Pokemon Red in the last part. Uh, we basically, uh, we explored a little bit of Vermilion City and caught a, uh, Diglett. We named it Mon. in this part. Uh, we're gonna tackle the, uh, SSN. Now we got the, uh, now we got the, uh, I don't think I really need any of this stuff, but let's just buy a, a few super potions. We'll call it that, but, um, yeah, so, uh, now, interesting fact also, if you have a traded Pokemon that knows cut, you don't need to do the SSN, but, um, we're just, we're not gonna use really any cheats, but, um, welcome to the SSN, excuse me, do you have a ticket? Bear Flash, you have a ticket? Great, welcome to the SSN. Now, um, I'm going to try to see if I can fight as many trainers as possible in an attempt to, uh, get Diglett to evolve. I like to try to see if I can get Diglett to evolve. I, I'm not always certain Diglett's gonna evolve right before the gym, but, um... I never travel alone. My journey's Pokemon are my only friends. So, uh, there's also a TM that I would love to get my War Turtles. So, uh, we're gonna make sure to fight every trainer. If you want maximum XP, I'd recommend just fighting every trainer in this, uh, SSN. But, um... Growlithe is actually weak to dig, so it's another reason I brought out Mon Mole. Anyway, so, uh, another Growlithe. Now, we should get a level up out of this, actually. Anyway, so, uh, Roar is actually interesting because Roar will get you out of wild encounters, but it doesn't work for trainer battles. But anyway, Monimal's level 22. Four more levels and it actually evolves. So, we're gonna try to see... It's probably gonna ha take till the, uh, Vermilion Gym till we actually evolve this thing, but, um... And this, uh, next trainer, typically the gentlemen have, like, fire types and all that, so that's another reason, uh, I wanted to use either, I was thinking of either using a ground type or a psychic type, but, uh, if I use a psychic type, I can take out poison types, but I can't take out, uh, I can't take out electric types, but, uh, if I use a ground type, I can take out electric types, so, uh, yeah, it helps there. He's gonna have, two, he's gonna have, a uh, near and female. Now be careful with Dig because I think there's an ether you can get in this uh, SSN, but there's only there's only 10 PP for Dig, so uh, we need to be a gentleman. So I think uh, I think we should be about halfway to another level up. So you can level up a Dig pretty fast in this area, actually. Yeah, 903 to level 23. So um, we who knows? We might see Diglett evolve like the part after we catch it. So uh, I actually want to go in here. No, actually, I like this dialogue, so we're gonna go here. I always travel with Wigglytuff, and if you, uh, look at it, it's a Wigglytuff. A cruise ship is so elegant, you're crazy. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. But I actually do want to get something in this room. I love Pokemon, do you? Anyway, so, I think this is around the last bit of bit in the game, we'll start seeing, like, youngsters and lasses and all that, but, um... Interesting thing about Focus Energy in Generation 1, by the way, normally Focus, focus Energy is supposed to double your critical hit rate, but in Generation 1, because of a programming bug, which there are a lot of them in Gen 1, it lowers your hit rate in half, so, uh... I collect these Pokemon from all around the world, and, uh, let's just see, you're gonna have a Nidoran... I think this trainer actually has a Nidoran, and uh, it's a Pidgey, so that's even worse than a Nidoran. Unfortunately, though, Pidgey's immune to digs, so, uh, that should, Pidgey should also be a Pidgeotto, so, uh... Yes, yeah, that's the main problem. We're gonna have to switch out, because the main problem with Diglett is that it's got really bad physical defense and low HP, so... Diglett is supposed to be a clean sweeper, so, um... Alright, so let's uh, switch back to watch this. They have a Nidoran anyway. <laughs> what do you know? A Nidoran female. I called it. And, uh, we're actually uh, halfway out of PP for uh, digs, so uh, we just gotta be a little careful. And 
and we should be almost level 23. So uh, I don't think we're. I don't think. I don't think it's gonna be enough. To actually, I almost forgot to the TM in the first place. And it's TM08. This is, contains um. Now I thought of who to teach this to, but uh, it actually contains body slam. But um, the pro. Here's the thing. Peach learns body slam through leveling up, so I am not gonna teach her that. So I'm instead I'm gonna teach Bowser level up body slam to. Just mostly as an excuse to have a physical move, and also to get rid of Tail Whip. This will be part of its final move set also. That's the first move that's going to be part of that, uh, that Wartel's final move set. So, uh... There's no trainers here, but, uh... I think there's, uh... Actually, I just remembered something. I want to go grab something really quick. If we go in the, uh, sh If we go in the... If we go in the kitchen... What, see what they say. I'm so busy, I'm getting dizzy. I think one of these, yeah, nope, there's only trash here. Nope, there's only trash here. This one contains a great ball. Yeah, so a nice thing to pick up, but um, there's no trainers to fight here, but um. But anyway, um. What we're gonna do now is, uh, go over here, because there's more trainers, so, um... Ahoy there, you seasick! That's not a good sailor voice, but, um... Yeah, that's, good. that's a kind of, uh... That's kind of match-up. Unfortunately, I think it's... Wait, is it? It's not weak to dig. Probably, I don't want to get hit with a karate chop, so, uh... And it didn't even clean sweep it. Alright, let's just use Scratch, because I know we're faster in this thing, but, uh... We're gonna have to lay out a Super Potion as well. But we're level 23, so that's all that matters. We're three levels away from Evolve, and also, Tentacool is gonna be weak to Dig, so... We're gonna... If we get... If we get into... We're not gonna be... I'm mainly gonna be focusing on getting Monty Mole to Evolve in this in these uh, next couple of parts, because he's also gonna be strong against the next gym, so, uh... I guess we're gonna lay out a super potion. Look at how low Diglett's HP is compared to our other two Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, like 100 HP, then 40. Anyway, this is the last trainer in this uh, area. Hey, matey, let's do a little jig. And see, let's send out. We cannot take out a Machop, so, um... Let's just, uh, switch out and just split the XP. Because I knew it was going to use Karate Chop, and I knew it was going to be a crit. So, uh, let's just use Bubble Beam. I probably should use Body Slam, but, uh... Machop is really bad special defense, even if we crit, but, um... Anyway, Shelder. Shelder's got really good physical defense, so, um... We could try using Monty Mole. Shelder's a physical wall, though, so I'm a little concerned on that. Yeah, it's using Withdraw, so I think it's gonna survive a dig. Yeah, we're just gonna... Let's just try to see if we can scratch this thing to death, because I don't think it knows Aurora Beam yet. Let's scratch it to death. Yeah, this thing's just constantly... I think we're only taking out one HP also. Alright, withdraw. Eventually he's gonna run... They're gonna run out of withdraws because you can only use six per battle. Nothing happens. I think all it knows is withdraw. Yeah. I love when I when the underdog wins. Anyway, we defeated Sailor. You're impressive. Now, um, how close is Monimal to a level up? Anyway, so um, now I think I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal really quickly. So I'll see you guys in a second. Anyway, so now that we're healed up, anyway, so we're gonna tackle, uh, some last bits of trainers, but uh, I decided to go back and heal so I can repair my, uh, PP for digs, so, uh, 
What we're gonna do now is uh, tackle these last batch of trainers. I think there is a Max Ether in there, but I'd like to save it for later. Actually, this guy. Actually, let's just uh, show um We've seen 47 Pokemon. However, we talked to this guy. I know my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sink just like this one. It was something like this. Yeah, he just, uh, hold on a second. He just gives you a free Pokedex entry, so, uh, yeah. Interesting bit of NPC. Check out what a fish step now uh, is the first of the fishermen. Anyway, so Fisherman wants to battle, and Fisherman sent out Goldeen. Even though I said there are a lot of water types that can do really good in this game, I wouldn't say Goldeen and Sea King is one of them. I once used... I once actually used a Sea King on my team, and, like, I was just, like... It was just wasn't the best water type, so I was like, nope. Because I was trying to build, like, the worst possible team. So, uh, anyway, Tentacle... It's actually gonna be weak to dig, so uh, we'll one-shot this thing. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't look like we're gonna evolve this thing. We might be able to evolve this thing. Never mind. But uh, we learned Sand Attack. But um, if we can get Monimol to level 25, there is a rare candy we can just use it on him and evolve it that way. But um. You never, never say never. That's why I wanted to catch uh, Diglett at a higher level back at Diglett's cave. But um, and we have a fisherman. I'm all out anyway. So um, we I think we can possibly get to level 25. Uh, there's only a few more trainers left. So um, gentleman wants to fight, and gentleman sent out Pikachu. So yeah, this is gonna be a big example because uh. Let's say Pikachu is the underdog in this situation. If Pikachu survives, Pikachu has horrible physical defense, also. So, um, so yeah, we easily won that battle. How close is Monty Mole to level 25? Because level 26 it evolves, and there's a rare candy in here. So, uh, all right, 928. So we, I, I guess the nail by the way, now we can get this thing to evolve. And there's also that math, max ether, but um. What, are they, what does this couple actually have to say? Um, oh, yes, I've seen some Pokemon Prairie people across the water. Anyway, so, um... Anyway, these are, these are the last trainers. Wish you, like, a stronger or rare Pokemon. Well, it depends. Talking about legendaries or just Pokemon like Chansey, they're a 1% encounter rate. But I'll get to that later. We, we can, I think we can actually evolve Monty Mole in this uh, area, but um, because we can just use the rare candy after we level up, but um, we just have to level up to 25 to use the rare candy. All right, this is the first time we're seeing a Ponyta. Now, um, Ponyta is a really good, really fast fire type, so um, you can encounter Ponyta until much, much later in the game. But I'm gonna have a lot of great things to say about Ponyta eventually. I must salute you. I never saw you at the party. Because we got... <laughs> that would... Because we have Bill's ticket. But anyway. I think this might be one of the last lasses we fight in the whole game. Now, this is going to be a nail biter. I think we're maybe like a few hundred XP away from a level up. So, um... I don't know how many Pokemon she has. But, um... What do you know? We do level up. So, uh, yeah, so, uh... Pikachu does take a little chunk out. Oh, a critical hit also, but, um... But either way... Because there's a real candy in this room... You know what this means. Rare candy and, uh, guess what? We're gonna use the rare candy if I can access the start menu, and um, we're gonna use that rare candy on Monty Mole. What? Monty Mole is evolving! Monty Mole evolved into Doug Trio. 
So yeah, uh, we're still over level for this point in the game because we have three team members. So um, I think I'm gonna put Bowser out in the front because uh, let's just say we have to do a little more business with our rival. But um, if we go up here. Bonjour, Bear. I'm not seeing you here. Bear, were you really invited? So how did your Pokemon summon up? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Fall around in grassy areas. Now, um, I like to bring up a fan theory surrounding this particular battle. It'll make more sense when we get to one of the subsequent areas, but, um, he's gonna have a Pidgeotto, so, um, we're, first of all, we're gonna body slam him. And we take him out, actually. It's a critical hit, though, but, um... Now, um, I'd like to bring up a theory surrounding this Raticate. We're gonna encounter a graveyard area with him later in the game. And it's a popular fan theory that Gary, that we ended up killing Gar his, our rival's Raticate in this, uh, attack right here. And that's why he's mourning him. I think it's one of the better Pokemon fan theories out there, country. There are a lot of Pokemon Lavender Town theories out there that are absolute dog shit, but, um... Yeah, I, this is the, I'd say this is definitely one of the more believable ones, but, um... And Bowser's level 28. So now, um, I'm sorry, we're gonna actually send out our Doug Trio, because, uh... In Gen... I'd like to bring up something also about Gen 1. In Generation 1, Bulbasaur... Ivysaur is, a uh, Grass and Poison type. Now, you may think Dig will do normal damage against Ivysaur normally. However, I'm gonna explain something right here. Because in Generation 1, because of a programming error, it's going to register it as super effective. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely a thing you can use to your advantage in your one. Huh. At least you're raising your Pokemon. We got 1300 Poker Dollars. I heard there was a Cutmaster on board, but he was just a seasick old man. But Cut itself is really useful. You should go see him. Smell ya. But anyway... Ugh, I feel hideous. Or seasick. Bear rub the captain's back. Ew, thank you. I feel much better. You want to see my cut technique? I can show you more than L. I can have this. TG Pokemon, you can see a cut anytime. We got HMO1, which, uh, contains cuts. So, uh, we're gonna get out of cut slate, really, here. But, um, unfortunately, Farfetch comes with the default name, but, um, Ducks learns cut. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the, uh, we're gonna get out of the SSN really quickly, because that's all we really, really have to do in the SSN. And like I said, if you have a traded Pokemon that knows Cut, you can skip the SSN, but, um, I, want, I don't want to use any cheats, let's just say. But anyway, we're going to, uh, get out of the SSN. I love this music that plays also. But anyway, that's gonna cut it for this part of uh, Pokemon Red. So uh, next time on Pokemon Red, now that we have a uh, cut, we're gonna go to the Vermilion Gym. See you guys then.